Ooh, that's hot. All right, hey everyone, how's it going? So we are taking a little break from cycling um, because you know, when you are cycling and you're doing all this advocacy ride and going bike camping, all that stuff, you have to kind of fuel up. Um, you need some snacks, maybe. Um, so yeah, so uh, Tomorrow Foods, which is uh, they are owned by the same people who own Virtuous Pie in Vancouver. Um, they gifted me this uh, vegan snack box. Um, basically it has 21 like full-sized um, like local Canadian products, a lot of them are from Vancouver, um, and yeah, you just you, it's um, you get a box full of uh, yeah full size products, all this really good stuff. So I'm curious to dig into this to see what we got. A little bit of an unboxing. I you know people like unboxing. Uh, I hope you like vegan food and unboxings because this video is for you. All right, one second. Let's have a bit of a green tea break here. Mm. Fresh from the microwave. That's how I like it. All right, we're gonna start with this box here, which, um, okay, disclaimer, I have opened the boxes already. Uh, this, this actually arrived uh, a few days ago. I know, I'm ruining the, the mystery of the, the cinema. Like the film, the walls are falling down, everything's crashing down. It is a sham, it's a, it's a sham. This is, you're watching a video, a YouTube video. This isn't like a live presentation of me opening a vegan snack box. It's carefully curated to showcase the brands in the best possible way. All right, that's, okay, that's not really true. I'll be honest with what I'm, when, what I'm thinking, but I have opened the box before because it got delivered and I had to get into the fridge or freezer to make sure stuff would stay, uh, you know, at the proper temperature until I had enough time to do the video, which I'm doing right now. And yeah, let's just go back to pretending the boxes just got delivered because that is kind of like the mystique that I'm trying to maintain until I totally uh, shattered it beyond recognition. So, very excited to see what we got in this vegan box here. Uh, Tomorrow Foods, again, you can probably tell the branding is all over this video. Y you, know, you know what you're watching at this point, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, I'm not making, I'm not trying to hide anything, this is what we got. Celebration. Let's get into this vegan snack box that I just got a few minutes ago. We're going to start with the refrigerated freezer stuff, because I obviously need to get into the fridge, or the freezer. Um, and yeah, I'm going to kind of, uh, Take, I, take, I'm gonna take out each item and I'm going to show it to you and describe it. So that's, that's basically what we're gonna be doing here today. And so thanks for hanging on and still watching. Um, so first item, Virtuous Pie ice cream, chocolate. So Virtuous Pie I think actually has a very understated, like, the very, I don't think they're really recognized for their ice cream, but honestly I've had a lot of their ice cream before and I think it is actually really good. Like there's local, um, vegan ice cream companies even right near Virtuous Pie in Chinatown. Um, and their, like, their stuff is not even, I don't think it's as good as Virtuous Pie. So major props for Virtuous Pie. I got chocolate. You know, if I think I'm going ice cream, I'm not really a chocolate kind of guy. Um, you know, I'm more like a, a light fruity ice cream uh, fella. So chocolate, really good though. You know, it's uh, solid stuff and it's chocolate ice cream. So, you know, what more could you ask for really? Oh, okay, well, you know, speaking of what more could you ask for, based on my previous comments that I just made about chocolate ice cream, we've Say Hello Sweets ice cream sandwich, strawberry. Strawberry, it's one word, but it's spelled on two lines, so it's strawberry. Uh, I really like straw bay is my nickname to any ice cream that is strawberry that I really like. So I'm gonna say uh, this is an ice dream sandwich, strawberry flavored. <laughs> That sounded, did I pronounce that weirdly? That's strawberry. Okay, it sounds silly when you say it out loud, okay? All right. But anyway, really excited for this. Uh, say hello sweets, super awesome Vancouver based company. Um, vegan, really good ice cream. Ice cream sandwiches is what dreams are made of. I'm gonna put this here. I can try it like nicely so that like, yeah, we'll see. 
All right, next up we have two U-line ice packs. Great for uh, transporting, you know, fruit, foods that need to be at a, a frozen or cool temperature. Uh, they're leak-proof, colder than ice, non-toxic, reusable. Can things be colder than ice? I never really thought about that. That's wild. Colder than ice. You always think like ice is like the coldest thing that exists, right? Okay, maybe I'm being silly. All right, next up here. Tomorrow Burgers. These are two Tomorrow Burger patties. Yes, the same company that is doing the vegan snack box. You know, I don't, I don't, it's not even a snack box. It's like a food box. Like, are burgers snacks? Like, I don't think so. I think, I don't think snack box is maybe what they're calling it actually, because like, you know, frozen burger patties, vegan burger patties. Yeah, is that like a snack? Eh, you tell me. So we got Tomorrow Foods, plant-based patties. 20, 21 grams of protein per patty. Uh, yeah, made in Canada. It is, uh, yeah, so we got, they say it's made from grains, beans, seeds. Is that it? Okay, grains, beans, and seeds. I'm sure there's seasoning as well, but uh, yeah, so we got, uh, okay, cool. Looks good, looks good. Very, uh, I, I think I've had this burger maybe once at meat on Maine when they were putting it there. So I'm curious to try this out. May put this on the cast iron pan. You know, a bit of caramelized onions, a bit of mushrooms, sriracha, vegan mayo, bun, mustard, lettuce. You know how to make a burger. I'm not gonna be telling you how to make a burger, but I will if you want me to, if you don't know. All right, tomorrow burgers, there we go. And now, another tomorrow uh, item, tomorrow breakfast patties. Plant-based, vegan, made in Canada, 13 grams of protein per serving, per patty, I assume. Um, yeah, it looks, they look great. Little, little like sausage patties, I'm very excited. Um, this would be great with like, some tofu scramble and like some of that, um, like a vegan egg or uh, tofu scramble seasoning. Ooh, that'd be, Great pairing, and they have like on, on an English muffin here in the photo. It's a great idea. And they'll put it on like a bagel or something. Oh, so yeah, so that's great. That's a great idea that I just thought of. Breakfast sausage bagels with like hash browns and maybe a bit of vegan cheese there. What else do you add to a breakfast sandwich? Cheese, but like yeah, tofu scramble, like a little egg type thing, vegan egg uh, and sausage. Yeah, you, yeah. You know what? That's it. If you, if you start like adding weird things to your breakfast, breakfast patties, like you're adding tomato or lettuce, like just like, just go home, go back to bed. That's not what you put in a breakfast sandwich. Let me just say that first on the record here. All right, so moving on. We have, I see there's three drinks of sorts. Hopefully uh, they're good drinks. I don't know what I mean, good drinks. I was gonna say, I hope they're beer, but I'm like, that makes me sound like an alcoholic, so I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> All right, Loop, what are these? Loop sparkling water kefir. Kefir? Definitely pronouncing that wrong. Uh, it is, what's, what's we got here? What's a kefir? A kefir? Okay, I know it's like, it's like mm, fermented like dairy or something, like ghee, ah, okay. Yeah, tell me in the comments or just say how ignorant of a fool I am. All right, it says, I'm gonna read some of this branding. Nobody likes to be rejected, not even food. Loop reproduces the outcasts of the food industry. Okay, I've heard of this company. Marginalized, marginal, uh, you know, like the ugly fruit, and they reuse it into juices. And this is a, um, they say gut-friendly water, kefir, kefir. I'm just gonna stop saying that word. Uh, so yeah, we have sparkling water. This is orange clementine. Uh, nah, nah. And we have ginger, lemon, and northern plant. Just like a northern plant, you know, somewhere from some northern place. But this is the way the CBD. We, we rescue northern plant hydroscoles. Okay, cool. I mean, I, I like the philosophy of um, taking kind of, you know, like waste streams or reducing waste in that kind of supply chain and you make it a nice product. There you go. And we got strawberry, or straw, straw bay, of course, straw bay. Straw bay water, yeah. That looks great. 
Uh, they look okay, okay. You know, I'm, uh, sparkling water, it's in a can. I'm not gonna get excited about that. You're, you're buying water in a can? <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, what? Wait, I'm not supposed to criticize the products that, I'm, that I was sent? Even in like a funny way? Okay, okay, we'll tone it down. We're toning, okay, we're toning down. All right, sounds good. Over and out. All right, where was I? Right, we're reviewing all these great products and not reviewing, just giving our hot takes on them. These are hot takes, cold takes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Why are you listening to me? Why are you still watching? All right, next up, Kiki, er, oh, Kit's Kitchen. I thought it was Kiki's Kitchen. I was about to be like, Kiki. Um, Kit's Kitchen, I assume it's in Kitsilano. Wholesome curried veggie lentil. Wholesome curried veggie lentil. Wait, what? It says fresh, natural. It says wholesome curried veggie lentil. Wholesome, adjective. Curried, adjective. Veggie, is veggie an adjective? I think veggie's an adjective. And lentil, that's a noun. I feel like there's like, they should have said like soup or veggie. If they added an S to lentils, that would make totally sense, total sense. Wholesome curried veggie lentils. Boom, you got it. Wholesome curried veggie lentil. You can add a soup, or you'd say wholesome veggie lentil curry. There you go. All right, well, I'm sure you know the weird copy on the front does not reflect the quality or the taste of the product. And I do love wholesome curried veggie lentil. So very excited for this, it's in a bag. Water, onion, carrots, lentils, coconut milk, crushed tomatoes, ginger, olive oil, spices, garlic. Yeah, totally something that I'd make at home. So if it's in a bag and I can eat it that easily, I'd probably just put it in the microwave, right? Does it say I could do that? It says pour into a saucepan and heat over the stove. Bring to a boil, stirring often. Ah, you, got, you put this in the microwave, no problem, right? All right. All right, well, it's in the microwave. The microwave's off. All right, please follow proper preparation instructions when warming up your wholesome curried veggie lentil. Where am I putting this? Anyway. All right, next up, another thing in a bag. It is non-vegan, Nuna vegan, non-vegan, N-O-N-A, rich and creamy Alfredo style sauce with a vegan cashew base. Oh, this looks, this looks awesome. I'm really excited. This is perfect. I love like, I don't make pasta enough and then making like a creamy sauce just seems more difficult because yeah, you're like buying cashews, you're like soaking cashews. Like who has time for that? Come on. But it's some, yeah, awesome. Okay, it's in the bag, you like squeeze it out. You probably even like tear this. It looks kind of like, like a like a bottle. You like tear that. You probably just like put it right into your mouth if you wanted to. They don't say not to do that. All right, next up, we have Vegan Mayo by Mason Orf Orfei. Orfi, Mason Orfi, Mason, and it's O-R-F-O-R-P-H-E-E. -E. And the first E has like one of those little accents on it. So Orfie, Orfie, yeah, Mason Orfie. Vegan egg free mayonnaise type dressing. Uh, sunflower oil. All right, it looks like a pretty standard vegan mayo. Cool stuff. Homemade style. Homemade style. Like not really homemade style, you know what I mean? Nah, you got it. Anyways, I'm sure it's good stuff as well. I think the thing about, uh, also the thing, cause I'm not actually trying the products. All I can go off of is the branding, which is kind of like a superficial that's why I'm kind of being a bit like critical because I'm just picking on like the words, which is like, because I'm I'm not eating it. I'm sure if I was eating it, I'd be like, oh, it's so delicious, all these flavors, but all I can, this is like a branding review. We're reviewing brands, the branding, copy. All right, next up is Yogu, exclamation point. Nice, I'm like, it's like Yogu, it's like kind of Pikachu, like Yogu. Yeah. All right, what's up next? Ooh, to live for, AKA 
well, it's to live for now, so forget, you know, things are in the past now. Uh, Aaron, new branding is looking good. And we got, yeah, salted double chocolate cookie. Mm, okay. This, ooh, and I'm trying to think. This cookie, ooh, the, the, the virtuous pie ice cream is chocolate. Like with some like vanilla ice cream and a chocolate cookie, that'd be great. You need like a balance, right? So everything that's about balance in life. Okay. All right, next up we have spread in kitchen. Vegan cheese, cashew and almond. It's uh, the meadow, semi-soft. Gour, gournay style, gournay style. Herbs and garlic. See, I know you don't pronounce the H in herbs. Like I, wait, do you, do you? Herbs, 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 no H. Drop the H. Cool, it looks great. Whoa, it looks actually really cool. Like there's like a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I just like, like it looks like, or maybe it's like, um, they kind of rolled out. So I don't like kind of stuff that makes it look really pretty, but it looks very pretty. Very happy with this. I'm really wanting to try some of this, you know. Like, you know, you get a nice bottle of vegan wine, you take out the spread in kitchen, you're like cutting off some of those things to eat with your crackers, whatever, you know, whatever wine people do, cheese parties. <laughs> Looks good, spread in kitchen. Thank you for spreading the love. All right, well, this box, we have these, again, three Uline ice packs, colder than ice, sorry. Cold packs, not ice packs. It's colder than ice. If they were ice packs, they couldn't be colder than ice, I don't think. All right, I'm gonna ditch this box here. I'll give it to like a street cat or something. You should add vodka to these. How awesome would that be? Is a vodka a probiotic? All right, Mr. Mrs. Ophia. Ophia. Fire, fire, burning on the dance floor. All right, so next up in our tote bag of room temperature goodness. And I like the tote bag is cute itself. Tomorrow foods, they dropped the vowels, except they didn't drop it in foods. They should be T-M-R-W-F-D, tomorrow FUD. Okay, maybe, maybe they know what they're doing more than I do. It's actually very, very likely. All right, well, let's start with the very top of the tote bag. I can see it just wanting to just to pop out of there, and it is... Nooch Pop, wow, all right. So, thank, uh, it's from Nooch Girls, who are, of course, the Nooch Girls, everyone knows? You don't, you don't know the Nooch Girls, come on. What are you, are you living under a rock here? What, what's going on? Oh, is that what, wait, yeast is, is, it grows under the rock, that's why you're there? Oh, okay, well, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, gonna, I'll I'm gonna get my, my nooch from the nooch girls. I'm not gonna do your nooch rock harvesting method. <laughs> Just bizarre. All right, nooch pop from nooch girls, kinda cheesy. Kinda cheesy, <laughs> yeah, like a little bit cheesy. I mean, I, I'm a little bit cheesy, maybe. Some might say more than that, but. I like kind of cheesy, that sounds good. Feels good, like a nice, mm, like it's a nice, uh, feels popped, which is good. Like you don't want unpopped popcorn. Has that ever happened? You get like popcorn in a bag, like like a, not like you're doing the microwave. Have you ever got like an unpopped kernel in your popcorn bag? It feels like you could sue for that, I don't know. So if I, if I see it, one unpopped kernel in my Nooch Pop, you're gonna be hearing from me. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I take it back. All right, next up, Earth's Own, I think is a Canadian company, maybe even based in Vancouver. Um, it says, voted best tasting oat milk. Very cool, congrats Earth's Own for that huge award. Um, Earth's Own National Sensory Claim Research. Wait, that's the source for their claim? Voted best tasting oat milk. By the company's own national survey or national sensory claim research. Okay, well, you can't vote yourself the best one. That's not how a vote works. Like, you know, they're asking for it. They're, they're, anyway, I'm not even eating the stuff. I'm just, I'm just making takes off the packaging. Is that, that's okay, right? 
okay, I'll t work on toning it down, but like they say voted best tasting oat milk. Well, it says voted best tasting oat. I assume they mean oat milk. And then they have a little carrot here. And the source of that claim is like its own national sensory claim research, December 2019. That's not peer reviewed. Voted. It's like they have a, even gave this a little like um, little first place gold trophy. Like nah, you don't get to do that. You you make the make the contest. You you participate, and then you, you say you're the winner. I need to look into that that that, that source there. I think the met methodology could be a bit skewed. Uh, like at least yeah, I hope it's a blind taste test. Like there's no way they they made that claim off of a a non-blind taste test. Hopefully placebo controlled, right? Double blind. Triple blind. Yeah, I want a triple blind study for that claim. Ursone, if you're watching. I'm not a fan of that, 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 that thing. But if you think, you know, if the methodology is sound, I'll, I'll send me the PDF. None of that, none of that gated paywall stuff there, you know? <laughs> All right, well, continuing our trend of disparaging the products that I was gifted. Let's check out this, which is a paint swath sample. Oh, Harkin Coffee Roasting Company. I've been there. They are on like Pender or kind of downtown Lower East Side. Actually, the place is super cute. Highly recommend going there. They have like kind of like sushi and like they got like a, a BLT type thing that had like a lot of like tempeh, really good tempeh and like really good uh, lattes and stuff like that. So. Harkin, very recommend for sure. And uh, this is like, so this is like the branding card, I guess, like the spring, summer, autumn, winter, quarter calf. Is that a season? Quarter calf, is there a fifth season no one told me about? Okay, cool, well basically it looks like a sample. Uh, are these, I assume they're whole beans, not ground already, that'd be, yeah, they're whole beans. The quarter calf, which I guess is, I assume is like a quarter caffeine. That's cool, I like that. I don't really drink coffee very often and you know, have the green tea here, so. All right, cool. Yeah, well, uh, again, I, I thought this is, uh, I, I like, the, like the packaging, I like the branding. Um, I'm not a huge coffee person, as I mentioned. In fact, I don't even know if I have a way to make coffee in my apartment. But um, definitely for a while I had a French press to so do a nice brew there. I should look at getting like a coffee me mechanism. If you have any, you know, how do you do your coffee? Do you have like a machine? You do like the French press, pour over, aero press, Keurig. <laughs> yeah, you're using a Keurig, get out, get out of here. <laughs> All right, next up, Herbaland gummies. Good news gummies. So they are sour and they are low in sugar, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, cool. These need a taste test. I mean, if you have a gummy, don't, Ooh, these are really sour. I love sour candies, I will be honest. Like, I like how they have the little bears are like puckering. If they are sour, like if they're really sour. All right, next up, we have veg, veginola. It's like, it's like what, granola? Veggie infused granola, okay, cool. Um, by Good People Foods. Is it, it's granola, right? What do you, what's gone? Yeah, so gluten-free oats, and then you have like carrots, coconut sugar, coconut, organic pumpkin seeds, coconut oil, and then they have like raisins and pecans and veggie. Yeah, carrot, black pepper, and turmeric. Okay, cool. Well, I'll try it out. Looks like a perfect, um, the branding is like very cute and kind of campy, like camp vibes. I could totally toss this into my, my bike bags when I'm going camping and pour a bit of uh, oat milk possibly on it or mix it in with oatmeal or something like that. That's, that's a good, looks like a good snack for sure. Cool. All right, and next up we have Bloom. Just beat it. Um, my mom loves this stuff. It's a beetroot blend. It's kind of like, I think it's like no caffeine, right? Um, pretty sure it's like either no caffeine or low caffeine. It's like herbal kind of latte type thing. Um, I might actually, it might, I might give this to her for her, for like her birthday or something. It's, which is coming up in like a month or two. Is it bad to like give your your mother something that you were gifted as part of a promotional campaign? <laughs> no, it's, this is perfect. She'll love it. All right, next up, 
All right, looks like we are down to the last two items. And we have malo, mala? I think mala, malo is like means bad in Spanish. So I assume it's not malo. Um, yeah, mala, hand poured soy candles, mala. Um, and it looks like we got a lot of bunch of uh, like a few. Whoa, whoa. Whew. These, can I eat these? These smell so good. What the heck? Sundays, lavender, apricot, sandalwood. Okay, that smells okay. Something in here smells like a total snack. Jeez. Is it this one? Chai, clove, cinnamon, vanilla. Yeah, mm, that's good. That smells really good. I like that one for sure. Okay, what else we got? Succulent, citrus, coconut, sandalwood. Okay, yeah, nice as well. I mean, one more. I think it was the chai that smelled so good. I'm sure all of them combined were just like intoxicating. Mmm, this is really good too. What is this? Cereal. Oh my gosh, I knew there was something in here. I was like, do you smell cereal? Like, ooh, cereal. Oh my gosh, cereal. <laughs> this smells so good. Yeah, this one and the chai, they smell like very, mmm. This just smells like so nice. I don't know how, how it'll smell when it burns, but like, ooh, that's a nice smell. And then like, I like the, the chai one is good. And then the sundaes and the succulent. Definitely more of a neutral, um, not as intoxicating uh, aroma. Um, but that, super cool, big fan of those as well. Um, and maybe a, a nice gift if I were to re-gift something to someone in particular, <laughs> slash a family member who would like nice vegan candles. I have, I have one or two of those in the fam. Uh, don't, don't say anything, okay? You, you say one word. I don't know. Ah, whatever, yeah. Ruined. yeah that's, that's what you wanna do, do it. See if I care. They will care, oh, you know. All right, candles. And finally, last but not least, Shani's seasoning. Ooh. So I, I made a uh, vegan, like a tofu scramble when I went camping on Gabriola this summer. Uh, you can watch that video here or there, I forgot which corner it's gonna be. Um, yeah, so good. Like such, yeah, add this to Tofu Scramble. My brother who, yeah, did not, uh, he's, you know, he likes, he eats, he eats eggs, he's not vegan. Um, he, he was really impressed by the Tofu Scramble that I made with, when I added the shiny seasoning to it. So, so good. Um, yeah, love it. Just, yeah, great. Another great local company, super cool people. Uh, big fan of this, big fan of this. Well, that concludes our vegan snack unboxing for, of the Tomorrow Foods vegan snack box. Uh, I enjoyed doing kind of this silly, spontaneous video. Um, I'm sure if any, uh, there might be a bit of blowback in terms of, you know, did I disparage the products like too much? I'll, I'll watch the video again when I look at the footage. I don't think I was like on balance overall negative. Again, I, I just, I think <laughs> there were some products that uh, were a bit annoying, a bit more annoying in some ways, uh, not touching anything in particular. But yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not, I'm not eating the food, so I, I, don't, I can only comment on the small things I'm nitpicking about. So <laughs> it's, that's really gonna be that. Um, maybe I will do a taste test uh, companion video to this, um, in which where I'll actually eat the things, uh, but I kind of ate dinner already. I'm not super hungry, so yeah, that's the that's the unboxing, uh, the untoting, if you will, because there's also a tote bag. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any uh, questions about any of the products or anything that you've tried that you recommend, or any uh, complaints about some of the judgments that I leveled at some of these brands, and mostly their 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 packaging, then uh, drop a comment. I love some good uh, productive uh, <laughs> discussion about branding. And, and um, yeah, anyway, that concludes our video. Thank you for watching, appreciate you all. Uh, I know this is a bit different than videos I've done more recently, which had a lot more cycle travel vibes, but um, 
I mean, you can look at my other videos and, you know, like from last summer and, you know, I have a lot of this stuff, so it's not really that new to me, but um, I understand a lot of cool like content, travel content. This is not that, and this is me kind of be like, hey, I like to do stuff that's not just making highly produced travel cycle videos. Maybe I want to do something fun and, you know, kind of goofy and spontaneous, and maybe I want to make poke a little bit of fun at some local brands who, who uh, you know, for just very minor nitpicky details that they write on the packaging. And, um, you know, maybe I want to do that. Did you ever think about that? Did you? Did I just like slip into like an accent? All right, this video is uh, a bit of a train wreck, more than I thought. So I'm going to, I can, I, mean, I, we, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go, I gotta go. We're, we gotta, yeah, we just gotta, I'm gonna leave. Um, you all can stay here, you know, just, just uh, you know, enjoy, enjoy, your, enjoy your time here and no rush to leave. I, I'm, just, I'm just leaving, you know, I'm leaving. You can, you're welcome to stay, please, please stay actually. Yeah, stay, stay. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave, but yeah. Um, yeah, just, just make yourself comfortable, sit back. Um, and uh, yeah, just, just make sure you get the door on the way out. some green tea for the road. Ooh, hey, so uh, this is a bit awkward. Um, I, I left, and I, I told you, you know, just you can hang out here, so I'm glad you decided to take me up on that offer and hang out for a bit, because uh, I did forget to mention that if you do want to get all of these awesome products that I'm gesturing to on this empty table, slash cutting to the, the B-roll, we get some B-roll in here. B-roll of the products. Thank you. Um, if you want to get these products, which they say is an $180 value, um, you can use my code, Jordan Veg Food, uh, on the Tomorrow Foods website, and you can get it for $119, which is quite a deal in terms of the amount of money that is relative to the, the value. It's less than that by substantial amount of dollars. Um, and you get 21 full-size vegan products, a lot of things that I've never tried before, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, and yeah, I'm disclaimer, I'm gonna get, if you do decide to go forward with your purchase using my code, which why wouldn't you after all the things that I showed you and all the, all the, the stuff and the products and the, the, the branding um, and the entertainment value that I provided, which will facilitate your emotional decision to buy a snack box. Um, yeah, use my code, Jordan Veg Food, when you check out, apply that code you know, they'll, they'll toss a few bucks my way, let's just say that, um, and really helped, uh, helped me keep the lights on in this place because, no, they'll, they'll, there's a lot of lights here, actually, we're good, but get yourself a tomorrow vegan snack box delivered right to your door or you can pick up if you're in the Vancouver area. Uh, I think you have to get your order in November 9th, and I think November is like World Vegan Month, so there's a whole month in the whole world for vegan, a vegan month. That's pretty cool. And you get all these snacks. Honestly, a lot of that stuff is great gifts. Like you get, like, you know, a few vegans and you want to get your gifts. Ooh, there's a good stuff there for sure. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah. So uh, thanks again. Again, you can you can hang out there. You can just you know put on some uh, put on some tunes. You know, pour yourself a glass of vegan wine. You can take you know take help yourself. You know, actually, you know what? Help yourself to every, everything here. We, you have the whole snack selection. You get, get some spread in the kitchen. You can do some Erin Ireland cookie. You can do some strawberry. You can do some chocolate ice cream. You can do some vegan mayo. You can do some Alfredo sauce. You can do some, what else we got here? We can do some wholesome lentil curry. You can do some chickpea stuff. You can do um, soda in the water, the, the sparkling water, uh, the cafe. You can do this stuff, yeah, just, just help, help yourself, and, and I'll talk to you all later. Thanks, everyone.